12.30 on August 1st. We are getting ready for the pour. We're going to pour at about 1 o'clock. So we got our ledger board up there yesterday for the loft floor. We finished foaming all around the windows and doors and putting any more strapping or bracing that we needed to do in. So everything is looking pretty good inside and out. We've got rebar pre-cut. I just lined it up against the wall and then marked on the wall with the letter R for rebar. <laughs> so that uh, once we pour across here, then we could just hand up that piece of rebar, put it in there because these are short pieces because they're gonna be windows on this next level up above the door there and these windows here as well. So uh, we'll put in those short pieces of rebar at the end so they're in place for the next level that runs all the way along there. And I'm going to try to video as much as I can during the pour, but I'm on duty. I've got to be working, so I'll do the best I can. And out here we've got, if you can see, there's a pink string. We ran a string line all the way around the perimeter. I think about I think he ran it about a quarter of an inch uh, on the top, so he can make sure that the wall is plumb. We set the bracing out. We pulled it out. The uh, the wall's about I think he said about a quarter of an inch out toward the bracing. So if it starts to you know lean a little bit, we uh, have that already ready to to accept that. So we try to do what we could to plan, and we're just waiting for the concrete truck, pump truck to show up, and we'll get ready to roll. to maneuver around the uh, the rebar we have sticking up up there. That's been a little tough so far. We've had some spillage, some overage in here that we're having to get off of the floor. So a little bit of cleanup. We've got those windows capped. We're going to be really fast getting that done. Okay, I need to get ready for the next part. Finishing up the cleanup right now, and we're looking good. Most of it came up to you know halfway up that top block, and there's some that uh, well we'll get a we'll get a view down in there. Scott's finishing up. Oh, there goes the water. <laughs> that looks like the end of it.
long, but they're, but they're because it's not continuous, it's a break point. And so you want to let that concrete just ease in there. And then once it gets to the top, you can just, you can just go and fill up. Yeah, you can just finish her out. So how did it go there, Mr. Kendrick? Uh, it went pretty good, all things considered, you know. Metco was on it, you know. Old equipment doesn't matter, they know what they're doing. Good operators, good, good crew. Good helpers. You know, everybody was moving and shaking and bopping, you know. It was good. <laughs> How is it handling that hose? It's, yeah, it's, my arms are killing me. Okay. My arms are killing you. <laughs> I guess that so. Well, it's easier when you have the, the operator with the remote. And what he's doing is he's up, uh, up high, and sometimes they can actually be next to you. And he can actually, like the new machines, yeah. they can walk that hose right beside you, and they uh, keep it in a smaller, smaller nozzle, okay. so they, they're just working that thing, and you're not working that. See, there's two, it's like an old saying that one of my, one of dad's old friends from uh, back in the day, um, old, uh, uh, old black guy, one of the best concrete guys I've ever met. He said, you can either work concrete or it can work you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's true. And so, so how many times did you go around for? I uh, Probably think, five or six. Yeah, about five or six. I would say yeah. five minimum. Yeah. 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 So it just took our time and we're good. Those anchor bolts need to be oh. adjusted. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll go up there and check on those. All right, go ahead and turn that one to the right. This one? Yep. Stop. You should go to the next one. Turn it to the right. Okay, stop. Go to the next one, turn it to the right. Stop. Okay, uh, go to the next one, turn it to the right. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. Okay, stop. Go to the next one, turn it to the right. Keep going. It's tough to turn. I know, because it's on a bad angle. All right, stop. All right, come back this way. We're gonna do this wall here. Okay. okay, turn that one to the right. Oh, this one's harder to turn. Okay, go to the next one, turn it to the right. Stop, that's good. Go to the next one, turn it to the right. Okay, we're good. This one, this one needs to come out a little. Come out, okay. I'm gonna have to adjust that. Plum. Scott's continuing to check the plum. The amazing plum walls. <laughs> but the only thing, everything looks really amazing. We braced everything really well, except this part is what the one area I'm noticing that we should have put uh, bracing like or all the way along here because I'm noticing there was a separation here and just a, a tiny bit of bulging right there. I mean, we're fine we had that brace there, but um, something to know for next time. Make sure that that runs some bracing all the way down there. A piece of wood that would have been helpful. So, uh, awesome. We're looking good.
Well, the walls are looking pretty good. We only wanted to go halfway down this block. So this side got filled a little more than we wanted to. Just a little tough. That's all those bucks. It's hard to... Yeah. Lots of, lots of window bucks in here and then getting around. So anyway, we placed the, the rebar so that we're going up to the next level. We have that in place. Well, that's a tall one there. But some of these other ones are really short along here because there are going to be windows right above the other windows pretty much. So I think we're, we're good. We'll check the plum in a little while again as well. Yes, sir? Okay. Well, we need to plumb this one. Okay, gotcha.